Welcome to our room selection demonstration on how to select a space and assign others in your roommate group of the same gender to spaces in the townhouses. Prior to room selection, our office will send out a file detailing the gender breakdown of each townhouse by room. It is important to review this document closely prior to room selection in order to identify which houses can accommodate your roommate group. If you have a group of 10 that are mixed gendered, the person with the earliest male and female time slots should log in to tr try to secure all 10 spaces and assign just the female and male members of each group respectively. When your time slot comes up, you will need to log into My Housing and access your housing application for the upcoming academic year. Once logged in, click Save and Continue until you get to your room selection page. From there, you will see all the buildings available to you based on your class year, sophomore, junior, or senior. To choose a building, click on Select beneath the desired building. In this example, we will be selecting Townhouse West. The next page will show you all of the spaces available to you based on gender. Based on the Townhouse file received prior to room selection, we know that Townhouse West 1 and 6 can accommodate our roommate group of 5 females. Therefore, we will select these townhouses from the suite filter on the left-hand side of the page. In the townhouses, all of the bed spaces are singles, so if you are trying to pull in multiple people, you need to ensure that you add enough bed spaces for the entire group. In Townhouse West 1, we can see that there are not enough spaces for our roommate group, as only the G, H, I, and J rooms are available, meaning students have been assigned to the A and B rooms. However, West 6 has six female spaces, more than enough to meet our needs. We will select rooms A, B, G, H, and I by adding them to our cart, scrolling down to the bottom of the page, and clicking Save and Continue. On the Assigned Bed screen, you will need to select a bed for yourself, as well as everyone else in your roommate group. If Emily only assigns herself to a bed, she has not reserved a space for her roommates and anyone else can fill those spaces. In this example, Emily needs to assign herself to a space as well as her roommates before clicking on Assign Beds. Therefore, Emily and Brunel will be assigned to the A and B rooms, while Chelsea, Christine, and Hannah will be assigned to rooms G, H, and I. Once everyone in the group has been assigned, those bed spaces will be reserved for next year. Now the only thing that remains is to select a meal plan. While in this example we were fortunate enough to find the exact housing arrangement we, des we desired, that will not always be the case, especially as room selection day progresses. Therefore, it is recommended that you have contingency plans. This may require living in a different building or breaking up your roommate group. While for the most part room assignments made during room selection are final, there is the chance your assignment could change. For instance, you could sign up for the singles wait list, participate in room change day, or be added to the housing wish list by emailing housing at tcnj.edu in order to be considered for a preferred space in the event that something opens up. We hope you found this video to be informative. Best of luck during room selection!